Welcome back guys. In this lecture, we'll see how to create this beautiful newsletter section. So let's get started. For that, again, come back to your website, your homepage. Scroll down, make sure you have enabled the visual builder. Scroll down, click on this plus button. Click on regular. Now select one single column. And now search for email and select this email opt-in. Okay, fine. Now the first option is to select a service provider. Select MailChimp from this. I'll uh, I'll show you how to set up everything from uh, you know, from scratch uh, on MailChimp. So don't worry. You won't see any option over here because we haven't set up any MailChimp account. I'll show you how to do that. Now we have a title. Let's come back to the demo website. So as you can see, this is the title which says keep in touch. So that is the title. So just type in keep in touch. Fine. Then we have some text over here. Let me just copy this text and come back over here, come down and paste this text over here. Okay. And put some space before the text. Okay. In the visual section. Put some space uh, before the text between the title and the this text. Okay, fine. This looks awesome. Now we have to change the color uh, as you can see the color over here is totally different. So for that come back over here and under background color we will set our default color which is 3FB0AC. Okay, this looks fine. Now click on save changes for now and here this much is not colored in the demo website the whole section is colored so for that how here Okay, you'll see this blue uh, section and you'll see a gear icon. Click on that. Here you'll see background image, background color. So click on background color. And again, put the same code 3FB0AC. Okay, as you can see, now the whole section is colored. Now click on save changes. Now open a new tab and type in MailChimp.com and click on sign up free. I already have an account with MailChimp but just to show you guys how to do that I am creating a new account. Just enter your an, uh, uh, email address. Okay select any username you want. any passport uh, of your choice okay a password must contain okay this is annoying actually a lowercase character uppercase character special character okay so let's see okay your password is secure and you're all set now click on get started We have sent a message to this email address, open it up and click on activate account, fine. So open your Gmail or whatever mail you're using and open that link. Okay guys, so this is the link, open this uh, mail from MailChimp. And here you'll see a button called activate account, click on that. Okay, now click on this button, I am not a robo. Now here type in your first name and your last name. Now click on continue. Name of your business. If you have a website then type in your website. Okay now click on continue again. Your address, 
fine click on continue if you sell online you will get help uh, you know if you want the help from these guys then click on yes or no it's all up to you it's not a compulsory it's not anything special just select whatever you want and click on continue now you can connect to these social media sites for now leave it you can do it if you want okay don't you don't need to subscribe to those things but still if you want you can subscribe but i'm not subscribing i just click on let's go okay guys so we have successfully created a mailchimp account which is awesome now we have to create a campaign and a list which is very simple just don't worry about that okay here you will see a button called create campaign just click okay now can create an email okay you can name this campaign anything i am uh, naming it as cam now click on begin okay now uh, you have three options entire list uh, and group or new segment make sure entire list is uh, selected and here you'll see a button called next click on this now select any uh, subject whatever you want okay i'm not wasting too much time because these are all you know simple steps you know what will come where just have to enter a good subject okay and you can select these options auto tweet after sending auto post to facebook after sending uh, and these options you can search this uh, you know and have document on this what, what does these things mean you can have watch uh, you know different tutorials available maybe on U udemy but surely it is available on youtube you can watch that for you know in depth uh, detail for everything but this is not a course on uh, so, you know email marketing on mailchimp so that's why we are not getting into too detail but still i'm showing you how to create an account so once you do so just click on next now you have to select a layout from here you can select any layout you can check this layout in detail if you want okay so for cell product this is the just selecting this one and and here you have to put in your logo and your you know start shopping and whatever images and so on again as i said you can watch different tutorials uh for email marketing or for mailchimp which you can watch for free on youtube so you should better go there you'll learn everything in detail we cannot go into detail for this mailchimp but still you, you uh, if you want you can make some changes over here and after doing that just click on next now the list is successfully created okay so come back to the home page click on this icon this as you can see a list is created which is named blog dude now come back to your website make sure you have changed uh, you have saved all the changes after you do so just refresh this page okay once you refresh this page uh, back to your dashboard so how are you open this uh, dashboard link app and again come back to the mailchimp account now we have to uh, add the code uh, there is a code for mailchimp api code so for that come back to the home page okay and at the top you will see this thing uh, just click on this and go to profile now when you hover this uh, you'll see extras click on extras and under extras you will see api keys just click on api keys okay now we don't have any api key so you'll click on create a key now scroll down as you can see a key is created for you double click so that everything is selected and just copy this key come back to your dashboard scroll down at the bottom you'll see this dv click on dv now scroll down here you have mailchimp api key just paste this code over here scroll down and save changes now again come back to your website uh, the home page and refresh this page now how are this you will see this uh, gear icon click on that now here under mailchimp list 
now click on and here you will you must see this block dude or whatever company or list name you have selected you must see this this is very important so select this and click on save changes so with this we complete this step of uh, of uh, setting up uh, the newsletter uh, form on our website i hope you guys this video has helped you guys now make sure to save all the changes that you have done so click on this save button and in the next lecture we'll see uh, the things which are left uh, the footer the spacing and so on so see you guys in the next lecture till then take care